Has your gate seen better days? Let me show you how cheap and easy it is to give it a fresh new look. You can also use this video guide to help you repaint other metal garden structures like furniture and ornaments using the same process. Here's what you'll need. Gloves, goggles, paint brushes, scrapers, wire brush, wire wool, rags, white spirit, exterior metal primer and paint. And if you're going to be kneeling down, some knee pads are a good idea too. Pick a dry day and make a start by using warm soapy water to brush and wash off any dirt and algae or use a pressure washer. Allow the gate to completely dry off. Put some goggles and gloves on and using a stiff wire brush, go over the whole gate removing as much of the flaking paint and rusty surface as possible. For difficult areas where a brush won't fit, use a scraper. Next, rub over the surfaces with some wire wool, including areas that look okay. The idea is for the wool to smooth off the edges of any paint chips while at the same time, scratch the surface for the new paint to key to. Soak a rag with some white spirit and wipe over the gate to remove any remaining grease or dirt. Any heavily corroded areas should be painted with a rust treatment first. Make sure it's completely dry before continuing. Put a sheet of cardboard or polythene under the gate in case of any spills and weigh it down. Stir the primer thoroughly and apply even coats, not overloading the brush, otherwise you'll end up with loads of drips and paint runs. For longer lasting protection, apply a second coat of primer. Two coats should be okay, but check the manufacturer's instructions for advice. Once the primer's dried, apply a top coat of metal paint in your chosen colour, again using smooth, even strokes. Depending on the paint brand and type, you may need more than one coat, but again, check the manufacturer's instructions. Once painted, allow to dry. Now that looks much better, doesn't it? If you found this video helpful, tell others about it and look out for more how-to videos here on Draper TV. And don't forget to do a good job, you need good tools.